All right. I wanted to give you a brief overview of what we're going to be talking about today. So I've created a new Nurgle fit for the Anomic missions. The whole intention of this video is to create an easy to use method that is cheap to get into from a fit perspective with minimal swaps. So what I came down to is that we're only going to change out two mid slots for all of the missions that we're going to be covering in this video. There's a total of six modules that will be going into these two slots and you'll see them on the screen right now. Starting off with the Daredevil, the two swaps are going to be the Webifier and the Kinetic Shield Hardener. Very easy fight. Simply load Baryon ammo, approach, activate all of your modules, use your drones for extra DPS. If they switch to your drones, just make sure you recall them. Halfway through the fight, I started to burn in a single direction so that I could apply DPS a little bit better. The next swap that we'll be making will be for the Dramiel. It's going to be your Afterburner and your Webifier. So the Dramiel, this is the most nuanced fight of this entire video. Uh, we're gonna be utilizing our drones to sort of lock the Dramiel in place. Load Baryon ammo, and the first thing you should do is right click on your keep it range function in your overview. Uh, that's up at the top by your orbit and your lock functions. You're gonna set that default to 10K. What, what I do in the beginning here is I'm just letting my gun spool up. We want to get that gun spooled up as much as possible before we start using our drones to lock the Dramiel in place. You just keep all of your modules online the entire time. Once you drop your drones, don't send them to engage the target. Just let them sit idle in space and let the Dramiel engage them. One of the things that you'll see is that I will start returning the drones to my drone bay one by one as they start taking damage. This is the part that locks the Dramiel in place for a moment, and when that drone comes back into your bay, they recharge their shields and the Dramiel switches to another drone. If you start losing drones, recall your drones. Use one of the drones to get away. It's much better for you to lose one drone than your entire ship. This fight's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I, it was the hardest part for me during my theory crafting and the extensive testing that I did on this fit. But once I started utilizing that keep it range function with this drone strategy, it's been very easy. This kill took about four minutes. Uh, again, this is the most nuanced fight. It's got a little bit of a weird mechanic to it, but I've got no doubt that just about anybody can do this. And it's very safe to get away when you have these drones. So just make sure if you do get into a tight spot, align yourself out to the sun, a station, whatever it is, drop a drone, Dramiel will switch its scrams to it, and then you can just warp right off. Swaps for the Enyo are going to be the small shield extender and the kinetic shield hardener. The Enyo is an easy fight. The teams are a little bit longer with this fit. Once again, getting back to, you're, you're going to be able to speed this up after you get used to this by making some swaps of your own. But really, what I'm trying to provide is something that's just easy for you to do. So the first thing that you're going to do uh, here is you're going to approach one of these Lodgy Frigates. These two Frigates outside of the Enyo will just rep him. Uh, this damage is really hard for you to deal with. Uh, right here, I'm killing them with Mystic. You can use Mystic or Meson. Meson has uh, slightly better tracking, but a little bit less paper DPS. I found uh, here using PELD -E on the screen, uh, both of them apply about the same DPS. So either one works fine burn down the two logistic frigates, and then burn down the Enyo. One of the things that you'll notice about these fits is that they're almost all permatanked on the passive. I'm almost never having to overheat. I generally just overheat my guns just to get a little bit more DPS to make things go a little bit faster. All in all, this should take you about five minutes to complete. And again, you'll be able to speed this up with some practice. With the Hawk, we're gonna be using the exact same swaps as the Enyo, the Kinetic Shield Hardener, and the small extender it's the same exact strategy as well you're going to approach the logistics frigates that are on grid that are going to be repping the hawk this one's going to take a little bit of time uh, generally five to six minutes uh, you kill the two frigates uh, here i was using meson didn't really feel much of a difference between meson and the mystic like i said looking at a dps chart it seems to be about the same burn down the frigates then kill the hawk unfortunately with the way this is fit um, it is very safe, but it requires us to kill these logistic frigates in order to kill the hawk in a reasonable time frame. 
The Jaguar is going to be exactly the same as the Hawk and the Enyo. We'll be using the same fit. It's going to be the Kinetic Hardener and the Small Shield Extender. Same strategy as well. You're going to approach the Logistics Frigates, burn them down with long range ammo, and then you can be begin either approaching or orbiting the Jaguar himself, switch to your short range ammo and finish him off. So with the Succubus, our swaps are going to be the EM Shield Hardener and the Target Painter. The Succubus is pretty fast, so the Target Painter is going to bloom the signature. We're going to load Mace on ammo, the long range ammo with the better tracking. You can start out by just activating all of your modules, firing your gun, once again, halfway through the fight here, I just tend to burn into a certain direction. This sometimes causes that brief moment of transversal drop where you'll start applying more damage. Um, I like to overheat my gun when I'm fighting these things. Again, none of that should be required, but it will help you get faster clear times. Swaps for the Vengeance are going to be the EM Hardener and the Shield Extender. It's going to operate just like the Hawk, the Enyo, and the Jaguar. You're going to come in approach one of the logistics frigates and work on burning them down. Overheating on the logistics frigates, the first one, is going to increase the clear speed of this room dramatically. It's getting remote repped from that other logistics frigate. So remove the two logistics frigates off the field, approach the vengeance, start applying your damage. Once again, halfway through this fight, I just started aligning in a direction so I could do a little bit more damage. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. I am using a shield clone in this video. I will post a picture of the clone that I have. You do not need as expensive of a clone as I have, but that gives you the headroom to just not even have to worry about these missions whatsoever. Hopefully this proves to be helpful to get some people introduced into the anomic burner missions. I got to say, you know, with them taking even two to five minutes to complete, it's a lot more isk than a normal level four in terms of the time spent. And at the end of the day, this is a 600 mil ship. So all in all, I'm really happy with the way things turned out. I'm glad that it's working as well as it is. And I will see you in the next one.